Do you have trouble standing up straight due to pain or difficulty walking even short distances before you have to stop and sit because it hurts so much? If so, you might have a condition called spinal stenosis. In this video, I'm going to go over the signs and symptoms of spinal stenosis and share two effective treatments to help relieve pain. To start off with, let's go over what is spinal stenosis. A common cause of neck, back, and sciatica pain is due to spinal stenosis, which is when the spaces where the spinal nerves travel through the spine begin to narrow and become closed off. Think of a hole where a spinal nerve goes through that is becoming smaller and smaller until it's so small it starts to pinch the spinal cord or spinal nerve roots. This results in a compressed or pinched nerve that causes pain, tingling, or numbness. What are the signs and symptoms of spinal stenosis? Spinal stenosis causes nerve compression that can lead to many symptoms not only in the neck and back, but also in the arms or legs. Symptoms such as traveling pains like sciatica, weakness, cramping, numbness and tingling, and muscle spasms. In severe cases, incontinence or paralysis has been reported. People that suffer from spinal stenosis have pain when trying to stand up straight, especially after sitting for a long time. Other signs may include pain or weakness with walking, especially while going up or down a hill, ramp or stairs, which is often relieved with sitting or leaning forward. A big sign I see here at Spine Care is when a patient tells me that it's unbearable to shop at a store unless they have a shopping cart that they can lean into while walking. What causes spinal stenosis? Probably the biggest cause of stenosis I see is due to osteoarthritis or wear and tear arthritis that is from repetitive injuries and stresses on the neck or back. The most common cause of osteoarthritis is lack of motion or misalignment of the vertebra or building blocks in the spine. Osteoarthritis causes osteophytes or bone spurs which narrow the canal compressing the spinal cord or spinal nerve. Other causes of stenosis include poor posture disc herniation or bulges, tumors or cysts, and a previous injury or surgery to the spine, especially if not treated properly. Spinal stenosis is more common in people over the age of 50 due to the buildup of osteoarthritis and bone spurs over time in the neck or back. Also at risk are people who have a sedentary lifestyle, such as sitting for most of the day, which leads to a lack of motion in the spine. This increases the chance of developing osteoarthritis and stenosis. What are the treatment options? When spinal stenosis is caused by disc degeneration or herniation, I recommend non-surgical spinal decompression therapy to my patients. It has a high success rate among patients here at Spine Care. With this treatment, a specific gentle traction is applied to the damaged areas in the spine. This causes a gentle stretching of the spine and helps open up the areas that have become closed off, which helps relieve pressure off pinched nerves. With the pressure being removed from the surrounding nerves, pain and symptoms caused by spinal stenosis begin to diminish. Another treatment option is chiropractic care. Chiropractic is a safe, proven, and effective treatment used by millions of people. It's a great option for those who are searching for a conservative, drugless, and non-surgical route. At Spine Care, I use a gentle traction-based method called flexion distraction. This technique can help open the spinal canal spaces, relieving the pressure in the spine and correcting joint alignment in order to restore motion. Patients with spinal stenosis in our clinic have reported not only reduced pain and symptoms, but improved range of motion as well. If you're looking for alternatives to medication and surgeries for relief, please contact us today and schedule for a consultation. We've helped many patients in the St. Joseph, Michigan area, and we might be able to help you. Also, if you know of any others who can benefit from this video, please like and share. Thank you for watching.